Last time on Hot Wheels, we showed you an electric golf cart that was probably one of the coolest cars because it had air conditioning. Well, today we're going to show you one that might be one of the most comfortable cars. It surely stands tall above the rest, and it belongs to Mr. Bob Jakubiak from Lucina. Hi, Bob. Hi, Rich. How you doing? Good, good. So thanks for showing us your golf cart. Or do you call it a golf cart? What it's is a the golf proper term? It's a golf cart. It's, it's called the Jim E2, which stands for a two-seater. Correct. And uh, what can you tell us about this and uh, what motivated you to get uh, such an upstanding golf cart? The uh, biggest thing was you can close the windows and it doesn't get dirty inside. That was the motivating factor. Uh, we looked at golf carts, but the best you could do were sliding doors that weren't very tight and still let the elements in. Mm -hmm. But these, you roll the windows up, close the doors, and Pretty no problem. Tight. Pretty airtight. So on a nice, cool day like today, you probably want to crack the windows a little bit and enjoy some of that outdoor air, I'm sure. Absolutely. Very seldom drive it with the windows up, unless it's raining. Right, sure. And uh, as we step to the front here, uh, looks like you're well suited for night driving as well. It's got some pretty uh, nice headlights on it. It's got um, good lights, it's got turn signals, it's got a horn. Um, uh, complete with lights. a windshield wiper a windshield for the rain. wiper, right. Yeah. So it does speak electric car in a lot of ways. It does. So you get a lot of those comforts with it. Yes. And we get about uh, 40 miles distance, driving distance. On a battery charge? On a battery charge. And it takes, uh, you can get a quick charge in a couple of hours. Overnight is better. The first time we took it up to the cafe, we just drove right up there and parked it. And one of the employees came out and says, I'm sorry, you can't park that car here. I said, it's not a car, it's a golf cart. He said, no, it isn't, it's a car. <laughs> I could see how they would make that mistake because, you know, like those little uh, smart cars, it, it kind of is reminiscent of that. It is. Especially it is. when you look at the tires uh, with what looks like some nice uh, Mac wheels on here. And that's disc brakes, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So yeah. uh, let's hop in, Bob, if you don't mind, and show us the inside. Let's do it. All right. Okay, it's got seat belts, obviously, for uh, longer trips. Wow, I'm amazed. The first thing I think when I step in here is how roomy it is. I mean, I'm 6'2", and, and I could stretch my legs for miles. So we have, uh, we even have a nice speedometer here, and looks like it shows your battery. Right, battery, battery charge and charge. miles, how, how long we driven, how far we've driven totally, uh, how far we can go on a charge. And uh, you can dink around with it. There's a little thing to push that I'm not going to, which gives you a whole bunch of other outputs. Well, that's, that's excellent. And it's got headlights, it's got horn, uh, turn signals. I really like the space in here, I tell you. And it's, it's well, I can't wait to, to see this thing go. I think we should, should go for a ride around the island. And, Let's uh, do it. Any other features we haven't mentioned? It's got uh, power steering, adjustable steering wheel. Really? The uh, seats uh, roll forward, so my wife drives it. She pulls the seat forward so she can reach the pedals. Nice. Uh, locking glove compartment, inside light. That's what this guy is. Horn, which is quite loud. It's very loud. People know you're coming. So Bob, these tires on here, they're really sporty, and um, are they the standard size tire, or did you get an upgrade? This is an upgrade on the tires. Uh, the salesman said that gives it a little more stability. Since it's up so high, you go real fast around a curve, it could be just a little bit strange to drive. Mm -hmm. And then of course, when you get the bigger tires, you get the opportunity of upgrading the wheels. And we had our choice of different wheels, and we chose these. I don't blame you, they're really nice. That water's pretty today, isn't it? Yeah, it's very beautiful. So Bob, what do you drive other than this golf cart? Is this it? No, we have a, a Lincoln you know, hybrid, which we love. Nice. So Bob, what did you do before you came to Shell Point? 
in another life. We had a chemistry and microbiology laboratory. Oh, nice. Up in the Chicago area. How interesting. Bob, I really like your golf cart. In fact, I love it. It's so roomy and comfortable, and it goes really fast. It goes really fast, right. And uh, I think it's an excellent choice, and we really appreciate you taking the time to show it to us. And I hope you continue to enjoy it with many, many miles. Looks like you've got plenty of tread there for another <laughs> 50,000 miles. At least, yes. Yeah, all right. Well, thanks for watching Hot Wheels. And don't forget, if you have a ride that you'd like to show off to everyone, we would love to see it. Then uh, just give us a call or email Emily Rose and we'll get you scheduled to be on the next Hot Wheels.